Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and today we're going to learn how to create a seal design. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's go ahead and create a new square document. In this tutorial, I'm using 4 inch by 4 inch, but you can choose a different number if you like. As long as the height is equal to the width, then we can proceed with the tutorial. Okay, now that we have our artboard up, let's go ahead and select the outer shape. The first shape that I will create is called the cog shape. Now let's remove the stroke color and let's select a gold color for our seal design. That looks good. All right now we can create our cog shape. Once the shape is created, we can manipulate the teeth of the cog shape by adjusting the red nodes like that. And we can adjust the teeth to our liking. I'm going to increase the number of teeths. And for this example, I, I want to create a homage of the Nintendo Seal of Quality. If you've never seen that before, you can just do a quick Google image search and see what I mean. Now for the next shape, I'm going to use the donut shape. Now it looks like a sun, but I don't want it to look like a sun, so I'm just going to adjust the little red node again and make it a circle outline. And that's where I'm going to put the Triforce logo in. Now let's go ahead and select the triangle shape and let's create our Triforce. Once you get the size of the triangle that you like, you can just snap it right in the center and the green line should appear. Now let's create a, uh, a second triangle. Whoops. Select the triangle again. And make this one a smaller one. Now let's drag it over to our first triangle and rotate it 180 degrees. Now let's resize this second triangle to make it fit within the perimeter of the first triangle. We can zoom in to uh, make the adjustments to snap on perimeter like so. Alright, so now that we have our two triangles, let's zoom out a little and select both of the triangles. Now let's go up to our geometry toolbar and select the combine function. And now we have our Triforce. Now let's zoom back out and let's create some words around the Triforce logo. First I'm going to drag the donut shape layer on top of the Triforce layer and I'm going to duplicate it by holding the Alt key and dragging down. Now I'm going to center it again. Now I'm going to select the artistic text tool and hover it on the line of the donut shape. Left click and begin typing. The first word will be wisdom. Now I actually wanted the word to be above the outline of the donut shape 
So let's go to the top center and select the flip button like that. Now we can drag the little red triangle at the beginning of the word to position it to where we want it to be, like that. And we can also resize it. Let me change the letter M first. Wisdom, not wisdom. And we can make our adjustment to make it contour around the uh, Triforce, like so. Alright, now that we have our word in position, let's go ahead and change the color of our text to the same code. Let's go to the eyedropper tool and let's pick out the same color as the cog shape or the triforce. Either one works. And now let's duplicate the text shape again and let's drag that little red arrow and let's change the word to power all right so let's do another duplicate and let's drag that little red arrow again like so and this time we're going to flip it over again. And our last word will be courage. Now let's go ahead and make the adjustment by resizing it. And what I'm trying to do here is space the words out evenly. So once you get that done, then we can go ahead and do some kerning. Now, once we have the words in position, let's head over to our character tab. Now, let's go ahead and change the percentage while having the word highlighted to a higher number. Um, and you can always make adjustment using the little red arrow for the positioning. And once that's done, uh, I'm going to adjust the percentage for the other two words. So I'm going to speed this up a bit and I'll check back with you soon. Alright, so now that we have our text wrapped around our Triforce, let's create a separator between each individual words. And for this example, we're going to use a shape as our separator. I'm going to choose a diamond shape, uh, which is similar to the shape of a ruby. And I'm just going to put it between each individual word to cover up those negative space, like so. Now let's create another duplicate and place them with your own judgment between the words. And it also helps if you use a guideline to align the diamond shape evenly, like so. And once you're done, you can just hide those guidelines. Let's do that again. And now you have a Triforce seal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating them. 
let me know in the comment section below what you guys think or what kind of tutorials you would like to see in future videos. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to see what other creative projects or tutorials I will be working on. And on that note, I'll see you next time.